Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. It's uh, February the 14th. Well, today it is. Today it is February 14th. When this, air, when this airs, whatever. When this is. When this is recorded. When this, no. When this recorded, studio, it's. It's the 14th. Right. Yes. And it's number what on Valentine's Days that we've been together? 29. 29. We've spent 29 Valentine's Days together. It's a good run. It's a it's really a good, good run. Are you think you're sticking around? Pretty After hard. 30, you get to reevaluate. You do? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and re-up. You're going to re-up? I'm going to re-up now. You don't want to see what, what this next year holds? I don't even want to wait. I just want to go ahead and re-up. Oh, okay. I'll stick with a great thing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, So. Why? Why, ri- why risk it? For, right. You know, it's like, it just doesn't make sense. Um, a lot of people say, oh, what are you all doing for Valentine's Day? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm banging all day. Oh. Like, well, all day. Okay. Um, that's all not- night. Oh. All night long. Okay. Going to freak town. Yeah, we didn't talk about this before you decided <laughs> that. So that's what you're getting me for Valentine's Day is a trip to freak town. If you're lucky. Is it round trip? It's a round trip, freak town trip. trip. Okay, well, that's going to be fun. It might be a round trip. I don't know if we can get all the way around. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. That's a lot to to promise. But people ask it, and we're just like, you know, I mean, like, no, we don't really, I don't want to say we don't necessarily celebrate it, because we do. We're going to go out to dinner. We're going to go out to dinner on Tuesday. nice dinner. Yeah, because I don't like crowds. That's what I was telling this guy I work with. He was like, you're not going out to dinner or anything? I was like, I don't like crowds. I don't like waiting. I don't like going in and it's real busy at a restaurant. I don't like crowds. Right. So I said, we're going Tuesday on a random off night after the fact. I mean, we couldn't get a reservation, so. Well, because somebody procrastinated. Procrastinated. I called. For me, I called uh, early. I called on no. a Tuesday the before week of. Before thanks Before Valentine's That's Day. That's You've got to call, like, the beginning of February. you got to call on my birthday. That's ridiculous. Here, here I figured as long plan. as I called, like, the day no. of. But first caller. The day of. You know what I'm saying? Like It's Valentine's like, Day. Like, I call, and I'm like, hey. Those losers who it's don't. It's 11. I'm calling. Those losers who don't do anything for their wives do something on Valentine's Day for them. So you've got to think about all those people. Oh, that's true. Right? I so, haven't done any. This loser hasn't done anything. No, but you know what I mean. Like, you know what I mean. We have an agreement. But I'm just saying, like, on my birthday, here needs to be the rule for next year. On my birthday, if you want to take me out on Valentine's Day, go ahead. As soon as my birthday commences, be thinking Valentine's Day and make a reservation somewhere. I don't require it. It's fine. I don't have to go to dinner on Valentine's Day. Like, what? It's just a day. Right. You know, I mean, we got up That's this right. morning in our jammies, went to Starbucks, got coffee, got a breakfast sandwich, and we sat in the Toys R Us parking lot. Toys R Us didn't even open anymore. We did. We sat in the parking lot. We watched people slip on the ice. We slid around a little bit. We slid around on the ice. It was exciting. It was exciting. Then we proceeded to go to the grocery store. We did. And then to the gym. I didn't even put makeup on today on Valentine's Day. It's pretty cool. First time I've not worn makeup day. in like months. Yeah. It's a very special day. I looked beautiful on Valentine's Day with no makeup, you did. You and looked, I barely you brushed my hair. looked very natural, oh, well, beautiful, very natural. glowing. If oh, I yeah. must say, glowing, glowing. It's that. It's that collagen, and that's the collagen how, is kicking in, and it's the hyaluronic acid. The hyaluronic acid, yeah. and the collagen. So, um, but he did get me Friday flowers I did. as per usual, and they are little. They're little roses, like it's a little rose bush. Well, it's not a bush. It's different. It's a rose plant. A rose plant. I don't. Know. It was. It was rosy. But, I mean, when you've been together so long, Valentine's Day is just, like, another day to show your love. I mean, I like Valentine's Day. It's fine. It's cute. And I get it if you're, you know, uh, especially a new couple. It's fun. You get dressed up. You goo goo ga all day. But, man, what a depressing holiday for those who do not have anybody to love like that. Do not? Do not. Then they eat do not all like day. Like, the single, the, single, the single life, you know? I mean, it's just, like, another day to throw it in your face. That like, you know what I mean? Great. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that I would feel that way if I were single because I'm just I don't have that kind of personality. But I know some people it's hard on Valentine's Day. It is Day, you very know? hard on them. They, or, they... or maybe they just recently went through a breakup and it just like brings things back. You know, I think Valentine's Day is a lot of PTSD for people. And it can be a lot of pressure for people. It can be a whole lot of pressure for. It can be people. a lot of pressure, which is not always great for relationships. We've to have. never had that pressure. We've never really put that pressure. You know where I feel pressure. This is where it, when you get to be. 
<clears throat> here's here's where the pressure is. When you get to be our age and you have a house full of kids and we bang, we do our we do our we do do our dirty, right? I mean, we have fun. Yeah. But it's it's different like when we went out of town for your birthday and we had a night at a hotel. That's pressure to me. Why? Because you got a hotel room. You got to have amazing hotel sex, right? So you're like yeah. We got to land this, but then there's so many variables. So then the pressure's on because it's like, okay, this is this has got to happen tonight, and then there's the pressure, right? And then there's like, what are we eating, and how's that going to play? Into <laughs> right, because if it were tonight, like right now, I'm sitting here like, uh. And then it's like, it's just the pressure of being like, we got a day away. Yeah. We cram all this stuff in. We're eating different. We're eating good. We're we're we're, we're going out. We're doing stuff. We're drinking a little bit. Drinking a little bit more. Going back to the hotel room, and now you gotta you gotta make it work, right? Right, and it's like when you gotta make it work, it's like right. that makes it harder to make it work. Well, I think we did fine. Oh, we always we always do it, pretty well. We did good. Um, it happened. I feel like a lot of guys and girls too, but I think Valentine's Day is mostly pressure on guys. I feel like it's lots put of pressure on the guy. On guys. I really do think that, and I think that if you're in a new relationship, it's even more pressure. Or like if you're just like if it's your first year married and it's your first year Valentine's Day together, that's a lot of pressure. You know, you're gonna make it big. If, you're, if it's your first Valentine's Day together. Especially if you've been together for months and months, you know, a few months. Not just like, oh, we started dating last week, now it's Valentine's Day. No pressure there because that's, you know. Listen, if you don't have a good 25 years under the belt and you don't know your partner perfectly, like we do, I would recommend even if the partner says, the, the, the female in most cases says, oh, don't, don't get me anything for Valentine's Day. It's just another day. Get her something. I know, but here's the Do thing. Because you're gonna get, you're getting set up, bro. Uh, I don't you're know getting if I set up. Ninety nine percent of the time, agree you're getting set with up. That. I don't think I agree with you're that. You're different than most girls, though. I, if I tell you not to get me something, and then I'm, I, I've done and it before, I, and, and I've I say, in trouble. Yeah. I, we're not gonna get each other anything. We're just gonna go out to dinner. You know what I mean? And you get me something, it makes that person feel so bad. If you guys you didn't haven't, get me you have to set the precedence in your relationship early. Look, if we sit down and say, let's not buy each other for Valentine anything for Valentine's Day, let's just not, and let's just go to dinner. So you're saying I'm, you you're, have to I'm be gonna honest lose and trust straight in forward. you if you buy me something and you think you're being sweet. I'm going to think that you're not being sweet and you're trying to make me look a certain type of way, and I'm going to actually be kind of mad. Ooh, I see. You know what I mean? Like, so I it's kind of like telling somebody that you um, don't work out and you eat bad food, but you still look this good when that's not the case, when you're really disciplined. And you really do work out, but you right. just act like it's you eat lie. sweets all day. I mean, and you it's don't not really, really like that. Gym. No, it's not like okay. that, really. It's more of we had an agreement that we're not doing something, and you went and did it anyway because you think you're being nice, but you're really, I'm losing trust in you. Now, if nothing was said. Which makes you anxious next time the thing comes around because, yeah, because you got to go, he it. says he's not getting me something, and but now he, I need to get him something right, just in case he gets me something. Exactly. But then he said not to get him something because we're saving money or whatever. Right. Now, if nothing was said, then, you know, right. it's, it's, it's free game. Or if it's like, you know, what do you want for Valentine's Day? Game on. Then you're going to get each other something for Valentine's Day. Right. Let's just totally get. But we do that for Christmas a lot. Um, you know, don't get me anything, and we and some and then some Christmases we too. It's just really weird. I don't know, but normally for Valentine's Day, it's a null, it's a null, it's null and void, in, in our category. We usually do a dinner, a decent dinner, yeah. somewhere we usually don't go, a nice place. Right, and we're gonna right? do that on Tuesday, and we'll talk Tuesday. about it actually probably when we get back from dinner in that podcast because so yeah, we're going to a nicer restaurant that we would, normally wouldn't go to. It's a special occasion restaurant. That's right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's that but we've been celebrating valentine's days for a long time and he we used to get each other something i remember one year i got you some uh boxers with lips on it or something didn't i that's right yeah lucky you got boxers. Me teddy, like teddy bears and like I got you little a teddy. Cute, you got me a really huge valentine car one one year i did you to a giant valentine's car i don't know yeah. why i thought that was nice but it was it's cute i mean people where do you put it though it's well, like what do i, I do i don't know this? where it is like now. what do it's, i put it, it under my be bed in, it's probably in my parents attic where it's most of our probably others burned are. it's like what, what do you do with it you know you don't think about that when you get you just say i love you i love you in a big card kind of way <laughs> like i love you those regular cards don't express my love enough so i'm gonna right. get you a huge card that you're gonna have to put in a closet right or under a bed, or like rent a place at a at a at a storage unit and keep it in there. Right. Here's all the cards Jeff got me. Right. Stacks of huge you cards. You need a ladder to get to the top to right, pull it open. Right. Right. And you're but... like this one. He said something special, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> 
But, I mean, I don't know. So, I, I don't know what I think about Valentine's Day. And, and sometimes I feel a certain type of way because I see, like, here's what makes me weird. I don't know. To me, and I'm going to have a lot of people disagree with me, and that's okay. I'm used to that. To me, Valentine's Day is for love, obviously. But I think of it in a relationship way. Like you have, you're in a relationship with somebody. So when somebody says, what did you get your kids for Valentine's Day? Well, I didn't get them anything. Why would you get your kids something for Valentine's Day? Who says that? A There's lot people of, that get their kids something for Valentine's Day? Look on Facebook today and see Day? all these families who like got their kids, like their kids have these, these Valentine baskets. And see people won't like who this. Who crazy but person that, started that? Here, people won't like this. The people that get their kids Valentine's gifts won't like this, but I think that's part of the problem with relationships nowadays. It's okay to be freaking in love with your partner and you guys have something without the kids, right? Yeah. Damn it, that's that's actually important for your kids to see that example. Yeah, I that, feel hey, like so too. Your kids are really important, but they're not more important than your relationship. Like, why am I getting my kids something for Valentine's Day? They don't expect it. They expect things Christmas. They expect I get them Easter baskets. Of course, we get we sell we have Easter gifts and stuff I'm like that. I'm gonna tell my kids you go get you somebody to get you something. I mean, it's not. I don't feel like it's now. I mean, not to say that I think like I've always thought this would be a cute idea, and we did it one year in Atlanta. I won't forget it. It was when I wasn't working, and I could be cutesy like this. We did have a Valentine's Day dinner with the kids. I got like heart shaped stuff. We had a candlelight dinner. I don't know if you remember that. I do. And we get yeah. Do, yeah. Now something like that. Okay, well, we're gonna have this like special little Valentine dinner, and we're gonna decorate. And it's That's gonna be Valentine. Cute. But That's that was fine. in that was in addition to you and me having our in addition room, to our romantic dinner or date or whatever we had. But like I'm I'm on Facebook and I'm looking at these these kids like getting all this stuff for Valentine's Day. It's weird. It's kind of. I weird. didn't know that was a day that. Of course we love our kids. It's not that. And yeah, I mean, I took pictures like, oh, it's my other Valentine. Oh, we love our kids. Yeah, I mean, it's than, fine. But it's, you know, I don't know. I have a different view on stuff like that. I think they should do, we should get them a box with Charlie Brown Valentines for when they go to school, you know, for their Valentine's yeah, Day. I, mean, I didn't even buy them any candy. Why? Yeah, why would you? Well, I don't know. I mean, but like when I was on Facebook today, I felt a certain type of way. So I was like, oh. They bought their kids a box of chocolates. Oh, they bought their kids all this, all this, all these treats. Oh, oh, they're all out to dinner together, having a Valentine day. I'm like, oh, am they, I a horrible mom? They love. Sometimes Facebook makes you feel like a bad parent. It can if you're, you know, you just got to say, hey, it's not how we do it around here. I mean, and it doesn't mean anything different. That's what no, I don't like about how, social media. But that's how you do, you know. It, Parents put a, especially moms, not dads so much, but I think moms put a lot of pressure on other moms, like top this. Yeah, a little competition. Top this. Seems like a, it's an extremely healthy way to function in society. Well, that's how, that's how. Very healthy. It's, it it's functions. definitely the way things should function. And I'm being serious. That's how everyone should function. What? You should compete with other families. Why are you saying that? You're not it being serious. It is serious. seriously what you should do. You're lying right now. Right? You're laughing. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's not what you should do. It's probably the safest way to raise a family the right way. You're being facetious right now. <laughs> You're being 100% sarcastic and you don't mean any of it. Did your parents buy you anything for Valentine's Day? I don't think so, no. I don't think that. that I think they're too busy having relations. Oh, to gosh. ever buy me Do any. we really want to talk about that? No, I'm kidding. I don't know what they were doing on Valentine's Day. I don't remember. I don't remember. I mean, my I, my, my parents there didn't buy me anything. There were four of us. They couldn't buy us anything. I think that maybe they got us a bag of candy, like those little candy hearts, you know, and like That's put them okay. in a bowl That's, on the yeah, table. That, yeah, I think we had you know, that. Yeah, we, we had We had those. like some nostalgia yeah, around could, on Valentine's Day, but it wasn't necessarily a gift for me. Now, my mom, here's what she does do. She's done this for a long time, and I love this. But she, she buys me a coffee mug for every holiday. Almost every holiday. That's why we have a billion coffee cups. Right. Almost every holiday. So she buys me a Christmas one, and then she usually buys me a Valentine's Day one, and then now I already have my St. Patrick's Day one. I don't know that she ever gets me an Easter one. And what's the other holiday she gets me a coffee mug for? You said every holiday. Almost every holiday. I mean, I'm not 4th of July, not something like that. Maybe, maybe uh, like a fall one, like to celebrate fall, right. something like that. Anyway, and I like that. 
It's not it's expensive. Neat. It's like, you know, it's three bucks. So I like traditions like that. And we can like have that. an amazing garage sale one day. I will never sell a mug my mom bought me. Oh, come on. I will never sell a coffee mug that I know my mom or my kids bought me. Yeah. You, you can sell one. That, like, I love coffee mugs. And I think a lot of people know that. So they just, they, that's what they like to get me. You do love coffee mugs. I've gotten you coffee mugs before. Yeah. Yeah. Have you? You got the kiss me one. I got that you I the kiss, used today. kiss you one. I also got ones for us, um, like Knob Creek, the yeah. liquor ones. They're not really for me, but yeah. Uh, Everything for you. Anyway, I like little traditions like that. So if you're a family and you have Valentine's Day traditions like that and you buy it, I'm not knocking you. Oh, I just got choked up on my spit. I'm just saying, like, Sex. where does this come from? Like, I, I don't look at Valentine's Day like that. You know? Right. Yeah. No, it's great if people have traditions. I love traditions. No, sure. 100%. If, if their tradition, like, we love Halloween more than a lot of people do. Right. That we have traditions that people probably think, well, I'm just not going to go all out like that. Sure. I'm not going to, you know. Yeah. Maybe there's his Valentine's Day. Yeah, maybe. Right? You know. Or in, President's Day, like Monday. And they'll you celebrate know, maybe, it. You maybe, <laughs> maybe you're cutesy and you make, you know, heart-shaped pancakes or... Heart-shaped biscuits heart, or something I saw like there was a heart-shaped pizza you could get at La Robie's today. You didn't get me a heart-shaped pizza on I Friday. I didn't. I didn't. They didn't have it Friday. Now, why wouldn't they have it on Friday? Why wouldn't you know. just have it all weekend? I, I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they did have it on Friday, but I didn't ask. I saw it on the Instagram today, and it looked it looked all right. It's, it's just Robies. pizza. It's La Robie's. Oh my gosh, just pizza. Pizza's my favorite. Last night, I felt bad for Jeff because I worked and he, we didn't know what to eat for dinner. We had a friend over and so they were like, let's order Longhorn because I love Longhorn. It surprised It surprised me. And I came out, I was like, what are we eating? And he was like, I ordered food. I was like, from where? Thinking it was going to be like Jersey Mike's or Jersey something. Jersey right, yeah. And he was like, Longhorn. It was I got between super Longhorn excited. and Jersey Mike's. I got super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't had steak in so long. And then we got pickup. We got carry out or whatever. And I cut into my steak and I like it medium. It was It medium. was almost rare. It was medium rare. It was rare. actually more on the rare side. Yeah, because it had that purple tint to it. It did, yeah. It was I was very so disappointed. Rare. I couldn't eat it. Well, Jeff felt bad. I'm like, how is this your fault? Like, He's like, I'm sorry. I feel it's so bad. It's very frustrating. But when, it's not when, your fault. I know, but you know how I am. It's very frustrating when I want to do something nice and some idiots... But you still did up. something nice. Like it's still it's it's still counted. I put it in the scorebook. Okay, as long as it's in the scorebook. On the nice you side, you won't always remember that it was bad. You got a tally for doing something okay, nice. That's I'll all that it. matters. I couldn't eat it, but that's not your fault. It's the idiot who cooked it. Right. I just wanted you to savor it. I wanted you to moan and be happy as you ate. The takeout. Steak. I never. I don't think I'll ever moan on takeout because takeout is usually not very good you probably won't know. like i would rather just eat at home than order takeout from like a restaurant like that. and we can make pretty good steaks on our own jeff makes a great steak in the sous i i started in the sous and i finish it on the skillet if i can i'm gonna do it under the broiler next time the finish under the broiler it's i think we should idea. do that soon i also i also make a fantastic steak just to brag on myself some more of my steak this is my carnivore days got me really trained on the cast iron skillet on the grill yeah can make them really good that way i love them i love steaks well i can't wait till grilling season here a few months away we're a few months away we are in april i feel like you can break out the grill officially april 1st i think we open up the grill we clean it up and yeah i mean we might have some cool days and some cool evenings but i think that it'd be officially time to open up the deck april 1st I why are you yawning? Right. every time we do a stinking podcast you yawn i think I do it's you because do it with i just Michael. ate do you yawn? Yes, I do. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Because I'm going to be hurt. I forgot to ask him last night when he was I, here. I, ha- I do yawn. Yes. Um, I do yawn. Michael and Jeff were... At, well, Michael was over again last night, and they were making their... Their... Um, their um, we are making some cocktails. Cocktails. But I couldn't drink them, really, because there's a lot of sugar in your cocktails. I need you to research a low sugar, oh, however God. yummy cocktail. What do you mean? I'm trying to watch it. Okay. I've got a lower belly that's developing because I'm 45 and I'm on hormones, and it just decides it wants to pop out like I'm three months pregnant. And I work out every freaking day except Saturdays. And I eat on point. You do. So it's not any you of did. that. It's because I have to take stupid hormones, and then I'm aging, and I'm getting ready to hit menopause. So that my lower Yay. belly is like... Hello, I'm going to show up. 
So I have to really, really be good. Okay. But okay, like, we'll research it. Liquor in Google. and of itself is not really that bad in sugar or carbs or even calories. Um, especially coming up in the spring and the summer, I like to drink gin and vodka. They're oh, probably yeah. the best. So if you could research some, yeah, you know, of definitely. course there's gin and tonic, of course, but right now, but we um, need something with a little I more. Um, a little I want to get into a little like, more cocktail me. making. I like it. I like it too. And like making it. that syrup was fun. I like it. We you need to utilize fresh, our bar this fresh, spring. And summer. Yes, yes, we do. We have a nice bar outside. We do have a nice bar. We just never use it. It's just like kind of there. It is. Just I do there. my. IGTV videos there. You do. That's about it. That's right. Yeah. That, that'll be coming soon, a couple months. I'm so excited to get back outside in the warm weather. I think everybody's at the point now where it's just, listen, I'm over this, I'm to the end. I'm homeschooling the kids, and the weather's nasty, and this is the breaking point for a lot of people, I feel like. End of February. One more month, guys. One more month, and we're going to be on the turnaround. Anyway. It's going to be getting close. When's school out? May? I think May. Well, like, Brooke's graduation is May 25th, so, yeah. Well, if she's a senior, it'll be over at the beginning of the May. She'll be done, yeah, but. Yeah. Um, I don't know when the other kids are finished. But anyway, that's that. It's, uh, it's crazy. But, anyway, back to. Cocktails. Cocktails, Valentine's they, Day. What did, what did they make? What did you make last night? So it was some sort of sour. Uh, we made a sour. We made what a. What was it called? It, don't let me see. I have it. And I have then it in my the other one that you guys made with the bitters. What well, was bitters and what was? Look, I'll tell you what was in it. It was good, but it was a little. I don't know that I would want that as a cocktail. It was. It was fine. Well. But it was a Camp- little Campari. That's a. That's the bitters though. Was Campari the bitters? Because I had the, we had the, uh, the, I think the so. vermouth. That's we had the Campari, which is not bitters. Yeah, it is. It said it on the bottle. It did. It said yes, it did on the bottle. Huh? It was really good. The, the red Campari. stuff. Mm-hmm. It said bitters on the I bottle. Think, yes. So we had that. That had Campari. It had Noily, Pratt, vermouth, coconut water. These are the ingredients. Five Meyer lemons, raisins, seven ounces of raisins, and seven ounces of demarara sugar. Okay. Which was the brown sugar. That right. You, yeah. Um, that's the ingredients. But what we made was the Lincoln County Bull, Boulevardier? 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 I don't know. It was red. See, look, I, I looked up Campari. It's bitters. There you go. See? Bitters. Yeah, that's the, exactly what we had. Okay, it was, well, why don't you, you're, you you're don't believe well, me? I just said yes, okay. You're like, are you sure? I, well, I didn't know. Anyway. I, I did ask for your sure because I wanted to I make sure I feel like it was a little sure. bit heavy on the bitters. Was it the bitters or the... I felt it, I felt it was heavy on the vermouth. Possibly. Because I smelled both of them, and I did not like the vermouth smell like I like the bitter smell. Like, okay. I was okay with the bitters. Okay, the maybe vermouth, that's it. A little too strong for me. Yeah, it, I still enjoyed the drink. It was very complex. Sure, it was it had not, a lot of stuff. Going it was on. fine, but like I was, what I was saying, I, I wouldn't have you make it for me again, and I wouldn't order it out. Versus the sour that you guys made it was good. I think was really good, but it was just too much sugar for me. It was basically a whiskey sour, is what it was. Right. With egg whites, it was really right. good. But right, yeah. I think that's how you make a proper. Sour is with egg whites. It is because when we went to that, um, where were we at? Uh, was it we were at the Jim Beam or where, no? Was it the Jim Beam or was it the Evan William? Where were we? No, it was Jim Beam. Okay, downtown and they, Louisville. Yeah, and we went to the. And we did that tour. Right. We did that tasting where we and got we, to taste yep, all those bourbons. We did a tasting, but we also got a whole full cocktail as we waited we did. Yeah, that's and right. i i said i wanted the sour and i saw but i saw in there it was like there was a warning because it was made with eggs and it was like you know it has egg whites and i was like oh i don't want mine with egg whites and she was like i really are you allergic to eggs and i was like no not at all and she said i really encourage you to let me put the egg whites in there you're not even going to know they're there but it makes the complexity of it and it just try it oh it's amazing and i was like okay i mean whatever's egg whites i it's just it was it was something with the fact of it being i'm drinking it but but when it was mixed with everything else you didn't even know and it was good it was like added protein yeah that's a good point that's protein yeah that's that's (laughs) true (laughs) but um really good i can't wait for you guys to research like i said gin drinks and um 
vodka drinks because that's my switchover as of Gen April first. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, and we got these little. I mean, Jeff went all out. He got the he got the lemon squeezer and a, the, a lime squeezer, I did. which Nate had We're so much fun with. Well, Nate tried to make homemade lemonade today, and it did not go well. It's because he squeezed too many lemons. You said there weren't going to be enough lemons to do it. I was wrong because I didn't think like you did. You were smart enough to think this is only like a concentrate. Like we got to add a bunch of water and uh, yeah. sugar to you're it. Yeah, you're not going to drink it. So he, so those four lemons he squeezed in there was too much. Oh, it's way too much. That's like to make a big pitcher of lemonade. A pitcher, yes. Like that if you were going to make a big for a pitcher. Yeah, probably because then you add water, a whole lot more sugar than he probably added. Well, and didn't vodka, go well. and then you got your summer well, drink. Right, not for Nate. No, but for you. But you could use uh, what stevia. is it? Stevia. I like instead. stevia. I, I that would sound. That sounds good. See, stevia, really good. vodka, fresh squeeze lemon and lime. Maybe a mm-hmm. maybe a lemon lime mix. Mm, I do Sweet like that. Sweet lemon lime. I do like that. Except to watch the sugar. Sugar sneaks in on you, man. Sugar's the evil. Sugar's the devil. Sugar is the devil. That's one thing that. that What's that noise? Is that you? Yeah, it's me uh, with my feet. You know they move all the time? His feet move all the time. They do. Brooke does the same thing. I don't understand. I don't know what's wrong with me. So this podcast totally went off track. We were gonna we had something else totally we were gonna talk about. What should we talk Valentine's about? Valentine's Day? Well we were gonna talk about like how we met and like our like, Yes history. we were. That's, That's right. too late now. We're, this is what happens with us though. We just it's easy. It's easy to get off and just talk about whatever. That's what we do. It's kinda nice, actually what we do i'm i'm drinking a corona seltzer and i really want to try the mick ultra ones because i'm a mick ultra girl but then when i looked at the flavors they have Didn't it's have like a... spiced pineapple and something cucumber and if it says cucumber i don't want anything to do with it just so you know and everybody out there if you got a sore throat eat cucumber it's great for a sore throat i would have to be in so much pain with a sore throat and nothing is helping like motrin normally people just take motrin for that wasn't helping I because cucumber is disgusting. Absolutely 100% disgusting. I love cucumber. I know. People love it. I like to slice up some cucumber, throw some salt and some pepper on it, gobble it down. You make a salad with cucumber and tomato uh, and, and onion. onion and, and, yeah. Yes. I don't like any of that. I need to do that, but I'm going to wait till spring. It's more of a springy type yeah. thing. You April 1st, we're going to flip it around. We're going to flip it around. We're just going to pound it. April 1st. April 1st. It's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. I'm excited. Are you? About April 1st? Yeah, that's Nate's birthday. It's Nate's birthday. April yeah. Fool's baby for Nate. Star Wars kid. He was the cutest thing today. Um, he's downstairs. They're down there right now. April. 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 Oh, or yeah, April. April. Yeah, oh April my gosh. Um, Brooke and Nate are down there watching Star Wars because... Um, She's never seen it, and she agreed to watch it with him, whatever. Where am I going with this? Where? Oh, and he came over to the kitchen, and he, he looked at us, he goes, I'm going to make some popcorn. Is she allowed to eat it? Because <laughs> she's pregnant. <laughs> you know, you can't eat certain things. It was the cutest thing. Uh, I guess he wasn't going to make it and eat it in front of her no, if she wasn't allowed no, to eat it. It was yeah. kind of cute. Sometimes they get along. Well, they had a big fight earlier in the week. I think we talked about that. Yeah, I don't know if we did, did or not. But we had a big either. falling out, and they, they, were, they really, really had it out with each other. And they're the only two kids at home right now. And um, now they're they're in makeup phase. So give it a, give it another couple of days, and we'll be back to World That's War Three right. again. Yeah. No no worries on that. But they care about each other enough to make up and sacrifice. Well, that's just it. They care enough to actually apologize and yeah, and and try to move on from it. So anyway, that's all I've got to say. I think that's good. I think that's a good place to close things down. I feel like I just rambled on about nothing. We did. That's what we do. That's what we do. Um, so now it is time to shut it down. Bid adieu. Bid adieu, what it? <laughs> is that what they say? What? It's time to bid adieu? I don't know. Bid adieu? Yeah. Bid adieu? Like say goodbye. We're going to bid adieu. I swear that's something. A bid adieu? No, you don't say it like that. That's... A bid adieu. Bid adieu. I don't know. Hold on. Bid adieu. Um, it says, yeah, the phrase bid adieu is used formally to say goodbye. Oh. Or, <laughs> or is a lighthearted and flippant way to, or describing cutting something out of one's life. 
I bid adieu. It, it means you're saying goodbye. I bid adieu. Hey, I'm smart. I bid adieu. I don't, I've, never, I've never really heard that. Bid adieu. Thank you for contributing. Okay. We bid adieu.